Already you move through the citadel as if it were yours. Perhaps someday it will be. I am the apprentice and voice of Darth Charnas. I speak in his name and I would bargain for your services. I've never heard of any Darth Charnas. My master prefers to remain in the shadows, but do not doubt his power, nor his ability to reward success. I speak for him. I require individuals capable of gaining prestige in a society weaned on secrecy and madness. Individuals who can earn respect, if not love. I need infiltrators to eliminate an enemy of the Sith. You would serve well. I serve no one. I suggest you learn that quickly. I chose my words poorly. I apologize, but you are needed. Our enemy is the Order of Revan. A cult of fools hidden at every stratum of Imperial society. For years, the Revanite heretics have secretly recruited military officers, powerful Sith, wealthy mercenaries, anyone who can add to their power. What makes them heretics? Instead of following the Emperor and his Dark Council, the Revanites follow a long-dead Sith Lord, tainted by Jedi ways. If you can uncover the Revanite leader's identity for us, my master will reveal him to the Dark Council. His destruction would be assured. All you have to do is join the cult. I can get you inside, but you must earn their trust. I will earn more than their trust. I will earn their fear. That may be enough. The Revanites have a secret compound in the jungle. Take this token to the cultist at the entrance. He will initiate you. Earn an audience with their leader. When you have seen his face, return here, and you shall have your reward. Did you lose your way in the jungle? You have my sympathies, but we can't help. We have no food or water to offer. There's nothing for you here, and strangers are not welcome in this place. You'd best be going. I was given this token. Does it tell you anything? I'm not sure. Ah, you do have the token. Someone must have had great faith in you to send you our way. Welcome to the Order of Revan, Initiate. Welcome to your new life. I'm looking for the Revanite leader. Am I talking to the right man? <laughs> no, I only guide Initiate along the path. This place is our haven. Built by the Master and protected by the Faithful. Here we leave our duties to the Empire behind. This is where the Master guides us in the mysteries of Revan. The one who began a Jedi, but grew into a Sith, and then something more. There's nothing greater than the Sith. Nothing more to achieve. Is that right? The Sith are a path to power. But is the Sith philosophy where that path ends? As a Jedi, Revan was a warrior who slaughtered armies. As a Sith, Revan was a teacher who trained a thousand dark apprentices. Eventually, Jedi and Sith both turned on Revan. But instead of being destroyed, Revan was reborn. What do you mean, reborn? What was Revan's final fate? Revan was stripped of power, stripped of life, of memory, and left to rot. And still, Revan relearned the ways of the Force. The reborn Revan destroyed Jedi and Sith, and came to Drum and Kass. Although Revan's life ended here, the Master preserved that life, so that we may learn from it. That doesn't explain why the Sith think you're heretics. The Dark Council sees our beliefs as a threat to its power. Maybe the Council's right. But if the Council falls, it falls because it's weak. Revan mastered the light side and the dark side, war and peace. We seek to walk the same path. Take part in our rituals, learn Revan's path to greatness, succeed, and you earn the right to join us. What do I have to do to meet the Master? I'm eager to speak to him. Around you, you'll find your new teachers, Revanites who have spent their lives recovering the works of Darth Revan. Speak to them. Complete the tasks you are given. When you are through, return to me, and the Master will give you your final lessons. Come here, come closer. You are among the initiates who wish to join our order, and this is good. But tell me something. You are here because of the Order of Revan. Are you ready to die for us? You totally lost me. Consider carefully, for every Revanite must face the trial of death. Just as Revan died at the hands of the Jedi and Sith, death freed Revan, left him unbound from all oaths and promises. It paved his road to rebirth. Will death free you from your past? 
My past does not bind me. My chains are already broken. Then you have nothing to fear. Before us is a path. Beyond the path is a cave. A cave dedicated to Darth Revan. Initiates fall on the path. Initiates are torn apart by things inside the cave. But initiates who reach the end are reborn. Remade. You expect me to go to this cave? I expect nothing of you. The choice to walk the path of Revan or to return to the life you left is yours. The path is here. The cave. The cave will be more trying. The tougher, the better. Remember, survival is not your goal. Trust in the path of Darth Revan. We have nothing more to discuss. Go and return to me when you reach the end of the cave. Turn. Dripping with the blood of the womb, you are reborn. Your old life, everything you were, all of it is dead, buried inside that cave. What was that place? It was strange. Darth Revan's shrine. Every piece of Revan's life that we've recovered is in that cave. It's the last thing Initiate see before dying. Tell me how it feels. Your obligations have vanished. Your past no longer burdens you. How does it feel to see the world reborn? It feels different. Just different. So it should. You've done well. And I'm proud that you've begun your new life as a Revanite. Choosing allegiance to us, first of all. Take this gift to guide you in your new life. It will remind you of what you've become. Leave now. And may the Force make you strong.
Come forward, speak to me. We're all students of Darth Revan, and I enjoy the company of initiates. I remember when I was like you. I remember my trials and the joy of killing in the Master's name. You're so fortunate. I don't need a cult leader to tell me when or whom to kill. Neither did I, but you'll find that killing as a Revanite is more fulfilling. I'm Ladra. Once the personal assassin of a Sith Lord, I am now the serene protector of the Master and his students. I contemplate Revan's teachings as I execute intruders and heretics, but I also guide initiates and help determine their trials. Your wisdom must be great, Ladra. Will you share it? Of course I will. That is how I honor the Master. Every Revanite's initiation includes a trial of the past, a right to bind the initiate to Revan. Your right will be very special. You will find the mask of Darth Revan, what he wore after becoming Sith. It's a powerful symbol of his greatness, long lost to us. My talents lie in destruction, not relic hunting. There's to be destruction, too. I can promise that. The mask is in a collection of antiquities possessed by my former teacher, the Sith Lord Grathen. It must be freed from that heretic, rescued in a reign of blood and death. Why are you so interested in it? I'll give it a place of honor here in the compound, of course, so every Revanite can see it. Speak to Torun, our curator. He'll give you the spiritual guidance you need and tell you where the mask is. When your journey's done, bring the mask to me. Good luck. Welcome the peace that comes with serving the master. We'll talk later. Promise. What have we got here? I wasn't expecting a visit from any initiates, but you're welcome to stay and talk in any case. I'm Tarun. Devoted servant of the Master and student of Revan. What can I do for you? I need to know where Darth Revan's mask is, and be quick. So, Ladra sent you. She wants me to ritually prepare you for contact with Revan's mask, eh? A pointless ceremony. Ladra's devoted to the Revanites. She is also obsessed with that mask. Says it talks to her. Ladra wants the mask to represent everything Revan ever was, but he wasn't just Sith. Before his rebirth, he was both Sith and Jedi. Whatever else Revan was, being a Sith is what led to greatness. If you believe that, then why follow Revan at all? It's tempting to seek answers in material objects. Landra will use the mask to teach that Revan was a being of only darkness. I don't want that mask becoming our Order's sole focus. Bring it to me. I'll keep it safe among a few like-minded scholars. Sounds like you'll benefit from this as well. I'm not after the mask for myself. I have no use for it, except for what it represents. I'm sure Ladra promised a grand reward for the mask. I can't match it, but I can promise your initiation will proceed smoothly. Will you help me preserve the real Revan? Or will you let Ladra overshadow everything with a Sith relic? I'll bet that mask would look good on me. I doubt it's in any condition to wear. Still, that would be better than giving it to Ladra. I don't have to tell you to be careful, but may the Force be with you. May it keep you strong and guide your return. must be sky high. Makes my brain hurt trying to figure.
guess we're safe for the moment. Ah, you've returned. You must have talked to Tarun by now. Did you make it out to the estate? Did you? Did you see the mask? Wasn't it amazing? I have the mask right here. Oh, you have it. I never thought I'd see it again. Free from Grathen's prison at last. Free from the hands of heretics. It's a wonderful day. I'm touched by your enthusiasm. I wish I'd been there, cutting Grathen's apprentices to pieces again and again. But it was your trial, your privilege. I have a gift for you, to celebrate your success and the completion of the rite. I can't finish your initiation, only the Master can do that. But I can recognize achievement. You've done so very well. The Mask will guide us forevermore. More initiates. Hmm. The compound's getting less secure all the time. Still, I suppose the Master knows what he's doing. And if you can follow the ways of Revan, we'll judge your worth. What ways are you talking about? Revan didn't work alone. Revan had allies, all walks of life. We're no different. You want to join us? You need to face the men and women who got here first and who've proved that they're loyal to the Master. I'll strike down anyone who stands in my way. That's a place to start. You need to show those in the Master's inner circle that you understand Revan's teachings. They'll ask questions. You'll answer. If they're not satisfied, they'll abandon the test of wisdom and begin your test of strength. Revan didn't suffer the weak. Just tell me where to go. Your pilgrimage starts in the jungle. You'll find your first guide there. He'll determine whether you're worth sending on to the rest. Be ready for anything, Initiate. The jungle's dangerous, and so are the true Revanites. I don't really want to talk right now. You are sort of insane. You know that, don't you? So, you have come. You who would join the Order of Revan. I am Moron Dokas, Lord of Beasts. I am Revanite. And I am Sith. What do you say to me? I haven't seen many non-human Sith. For decades I have served the Master. He found me when I was a lava and saw that I was strong in the Force. Against the Empire's traditions he trained me. This is the way of Revan, to teach all species the path to power. I comprehend your meaning. Good. Now you will answer a question. And you will answer well, or face the claws of my pets. Why do you think Revan trained aliens in the ways of the Sith? Why did Revan offer power to all Seekers? Revan knew that servants are more useful when they're powerful. You answer well. You answer wisely. You speak like a true Revanite. You may proceed on your pilgrimage and seek worth in the eyes of another. Any suggestions on how to deal with this guide? No. You will do this on your own. Seek the mercenary called Setafar as she teaches her soldiers. Then shall your trial continue. Go. Your next guide awaits you. Talking. Have some of the men head into the city. They've earned a break from training. Yes, Commander. It's good to see you alive. Not everyone makes it past Morin. Raymond contacted me from the base. Said you wanted to join our society. Is it true? Tell me who you are, then I'll answer. I'm called Setafar. I teach these mercenaries how to fight. My service to the Master is a matter of honor. Centuries ago, my clan fought Revan when we invaded the Republic with the rest of the Mandalorians. It was our privilege to battle Jedi. We lost the war over Malkor V, but that was a privilege too. It's out of respect for Revan that I agreed to join the Master. You totally lost me. Mandalorians honor their foes. We respect a hard-earned victory. I serve the order to ensure Revan's name isn't forgotten. Revan was a warrior, a leader, and deserves to be remembered. Since you're not bound by honor, how do I know you won't sully the Dark Lord's memory? What can you do for the order in Revan's name? I will gain power to rival Revan. Is that so? Fine. You want to say garbage like that? You can prove you're worth my time. I sent out a squad of clansmen to hunt the local wildlife. They're camped nearby. Defeat them, or get yourself killed. And don't worry. Talking here will make sure they know you're coming. Yes, Commander. 
you can't finish off a few of my clansmen, you're not worth my time. Revan earned the respect of my grandfathers and grandmothers by defeating them in battle. Now you've earned mine. You're not Revan. Not yet, at least. But you're something. You've got my approval to join the Order. This business is over with, right? I'm finished. You're not. You'll need to talk to one more person before you head back to the compound. Find Major Pathel. He oversees security on the wall. He's about to meet the next great Revanite. Glory to Mandalore, and glory to our master. Get going. The Major's expecting you. All right. Don't be so pushy. Come on over. There's nothing to trouble us here, and we can speak freely. I'm Major Pathel, at your service. It's always wonderful to meet new initiates. The Order of Revan needs all the dedicated young people it can get. You're awfully cheerful, aren't you? A necessary precondition of living on the wall, I think. To keep healthy out here, one needs spirit. I don't know how your other meetings went, but I like to conduct these interviews informally. No point making your life difficult, eh? And quite a few initiates, young officers, acolytes and the like, think our secret society will help them become morphs or dark lords. You're not like that, I presume? I need no help to claim my rightful place. I didn't think so. Not every initiate realizes that advancement in the Revanites does not guarantee advancement in the Empire, nor how dangerous being a Revanite really is. The Dark Council seeks to root us out. So, how do we respond? How do we answer the Empire's accusations of heresy? We respond by destroying our foes. Any who speak against us will fall. Uh, I was afraid you might say that. Alas, I'm a patriot, and I'm not interested in turning the Revanites against the Empire. This is Major Pathel to all security droids. We have a threat on the wall. Please eliminate. There. Ah, if you survive that, perhaps I'll reconsider my decision. You're good to go. Well, I have to say, I didn't think you were capable of so much destruction. You've got some rough edges and, and, and some misconceptions, but also potential to be of real value to the Order. Glad you could see reason. That's all I needed to make my judgment. I'm going to send a message to the compound. Raymond will be waiting for you. I think it's time that I be going. Journey safely, and be proud to be a part of the Order of Revan. to compound as soon as you can. So you finished the pilgrimage. Not bad. I don't know what happened out there. It's none of my business. But the inner circle approves of your initiation. 
I'm only interested in meeting the Master. You're on your way. Take pride in that. You did good in this trial. Now you'll have to find someone else to show you the next stage of the journey. Excellent. My initiation will be over soon. Good luck. Every step brings you closer to the Master. Nothing more I can do for you, Revenite. Feel free to wander the compound. Well, you really made it, didn't you? I've been hearing a lot about your progress, hearing about your trials. Your initiation has not been an easy one. But you've met the challenge and showed you can walk Revan's path. Now you may undergo the final rite. Is this where I speak to the Master? Yes, you've earned your audience. The Master will complete your lessons, and you'll be welcomed as a full member of the Order of Revan. This is a great privilege. The Master reveals himself to no one outside the Order. Where do I find him? You may go to the Master in his chamber. He'll be waiting for you. Listen to him, obey him. Through the Master, you will know the path of Revan. The Master's ready to meet you. Don't get any twisted ideas in that sippy head of yours. You who have died and been reborn, stand before me now. You who have reclaimed the ancient past, stand before me now. You who have demonstrated power and wisdom to my followers, look upon the master of the Order of Revan. Are you too afraid to show your face? Silence! This is the end of your initiation and the beginning of your true journey. You will walk the path of Revan forevermore. The enemies of the Order will force you to move in shadows. But we shall keep your secrets safe, as you shall keep ours. The time for subterfuge is over. Know me for who I am. I thought the Master was a man. The rule serves its purpose. Besides, it felt appropriate. Revan's own gender is unclear in many of our records. I apologize for the deception, and for not meeting you sooner. But you must know how badly the Dark Council wants me dead. The Order of Revan threatens everything the Dark Council prizes. Why did you found the Order in the first place? I stumbled upon the mysteries of Revan on Korriban when I became Sith. That started me down a terrible path. Revan came to Drummond Kars after being reborn. Some believe Revan died at the hands of our Emperor. I believe otherwise. I believe Revan overthrew the Emperor and has sat secretly on the throne for three centuries. Aside from our order, only the Dark Council knows the truth. You're completely mad, aren't you? Could a mad woman have achieved so much power? Believe in me. Believe in the path of Revan. I have heard whispers in the Citadel. For decades, the Emperor has been in seclusion. The Dark Council no longer speaks with him. The only explanation is this. The Dark Council betrayed their leader and locked Emperor Revan away, seizing power for themselves. They seek to silence us because we know. They want to silence you because they think you're heretics. They do. But listing their many reasons for destroying us is pointless. I would ask for your help. My agents tell me that you met with a Sith named Sandor, a man who seeks to destroy the Revanites. End his threat. Go to Sandor and tell him that you met the Revanite leader. Tell him that the leader is his own master, Darth Charnas. Why would he believe me? I obtained this Sith amulet from Charnas. Give it to Sandor. He'll believe you stole it from his master while among the Revanites. They will turn against each other. When this is done, though, when you have spoken to Sandor, you cannot return here. If that is your will, Master, then I obey. Sandor must never suspect your true allegiance. You must walk the path of Revan on your own. The path to power. The path neither Jedi nor Sith. May the Force be with you. May it make you strong. Whatever you say. The Master of the Lightsaber returns. He must have taken great willpower to leave the Revanite cultists alive long enough to investigate them. Tell me now, did you find what we need? Did you see the face of the leader? She's a Sith Lord, dark skinned with black hair and tattoos. I know her. 
I know her, yes. Tari Darkspanner. My master knows her. We will use her. The Dark Council will strip her of her power, her mind, and her life. Whatever you can do to her and her people, it isn't enough. Likely true, but I'm sure the punishment will suffice. I promised you a reward in the name of Darth Charnas, so you shall have it. You have served the Empire well. Thanks to you, we have the means to obliterate this society of heretics. The name of Revan will be spoken on Drummond Cast no more. The Order was too weak to survive for long. You speak truly. Leave me now. It is time to put Darth Charnas's plans into action. I have nothing more for you, but I promise, the heretics will be destroyed. <laughs>